First of all, David, thank you so much for coming here and allowing us to gather your thoughts in terms of what you have been doing in the industry and how you have been able to transform Raymond's and the industry as a whole. But would love to understand more about your journey in the IT industry. I know you have worked in Reliance and now in Raymond's and are doing transformational work across different companies. Would love to understand more about your journey. Thank you, Apoor. First of all, really uh, privileged to be here. It's always great to be talking to you folks uh, about what's happening because you guys seems to be the light to me for in terms of driving the transformation. You know, as you know that I've worked on technology as an enabler to transform business for a very long period of time, starting from Reliance in terms of, you know, how does uh, more data enables and change lives of consumers, what use cases built onto that. And that's clearly has been, you know, enabling for me in terms of saying that, you know, how do you get technology to consumers? and drive businesses and that's been clearly been driving factor for me to keep innovating self because technology is innovating at a very rapid pace clearly at Raymond I think the challenge was even more difficult uh, but I think it's great uh, because uh, you know it's a very very strong brand 100 year old company uh, great amount of consumers uh, spread across the stores but clearly being driven from a demand, uh, you know, supply side economy. And that's what we want to transform to a supply side, uh, to a uh, demand side economy. Now, to understand demand side, you need to know your consumers better. You need to solve for the uh, problems over there. And I think it's been a challenging, uh, you know, four years in terms of the transformation post COVID. But thanks to COVID, I mean, in all terms, it's actually put technology on steroids for organizations to adopt and evolve. Been working on various transformations on Raymond, whether it's in terms of a core IT infrastructure or in terms of a consumer use case of digitization. And it's been rewarding. I think it continues to be rewarding. The Raymond journey has been rewarding as a group, as a whole for us. And it looks very promising to me to be part of this uh, journey from here on. Yes, absolutely. Great to hear about your stories. But your story go beyond Ravens also. Yes. And I know we have been discussing about uh, the way in which you see, uh, uh, you first saw how the WhatsApp uh, originated in a garage. Yes. And you, you went there and actually saw the servers which were there. So the IT industry has uh, tectonically shifted, but you have been there. What's your insight like? We talk about generative AI and we talk about earlier cloud as transformed, but love to hear your view, your perspective of from your beginning of the career and how it has evolved till now. So I think uh, WhatsApp is a great learning story for me. And, uh, you know, as I've shared just for this, I was returning from a meeting uh, with Google, you know, and happened to be the same day that I met uh, Mr. Sundar Pichai. And at that point of time, he was head heading the Android. And we were thinking that how do you get Android to a large scale adoption in India, work with the uh, telecom operators and what can be done. And on the way back, we were to meet uh, Neeraj at that point of time running uh, the WhatsApp business. And, you know, I just happened to call him, say, I've reached the spot. Where are you? And there opens a garage and, you know, Neeraj comes out. And I just saw WhatsApp at that point of time. From there to where it's reached, clearly, you know, how simple technology enablement can take businesses to. And that became a lot of inspiration. Now, today, for example, if you take a use case of, you know, what generative AI is doing, it's actually doing almost the same thing, but it's doing to all across industries. You know, we have been talking about how technology companies were adopting technology, but uh, thanks to, you know, hyperscalers, uh, in particular, you know, my experience with Amazon, uh, how does hyperscalers enables business across sectors and segment to probably adopt these technologies in their use cases? Generative AI is a great use case example that we are building today. Whenever I'm deciding a solution that I have to build, I mean, nowhere in my thought or thing, it's been there thing that is a compute or a server or an infrastructure a challenge, that's not, that's a given, right? It's table stakes being given because I'm working with partners who are providing these solutions. Uh, for me to probably, you know, talk about a use case of a generative AI where probably, you know, we are trying to solve a consumer problem of them buying fabric in our stores, but not knowing what the end use case. And imagine a customer in today's day and age making and buying something, but not knowing how it's going to look onto them. It clearly is a very, very big use case to be solved for. Generative AI makes it real-time live solutions for us. And that's where, you know, we believe that that's the power of what generative AI can go beyond boundaries of what people used to think it's impossible to make it I am possible, as I call it. And I think, uh, great. I mean, uh, today, uh, there are multiple use cases, uh, whether you call it uh, generative AI being used to interact with consumers to like preferences, generative AI giving offers to the consumers, designing them, or probably, you know, giving them solutions of how solutions will look onto them. 
it's a great great uh, experience and i'm very thrilled about these use cases coming into effect to help business grow uh so clearly very rewarding as i say we have been working with you for a virtual try on solutions yes. right i think it would have changed how the customer perceive a traditional mm -hmm. house like raymonds and how uh, modernized you are in terms of giving uh, solutions to them how it has transformed your thing and how it has impacted your business how do you see that or it is going to impact your business i would say for last 7 8 years every consumer study that we have done and again a use case of a virtual try on every time we are selling a fabric a consumer is buying fabric for a special occasion you know imagine a dula into our store and want to get a sherwani or a band gala or jodhpur is stitched all decisions are based on how the fabric touch and feel and look look uh, over there but at the end you see you know the store guy trying to put it on him drape it on him and say how it look but he still doesn't have the you know a last mile solution of how we want to do and and whether it's a special occasion whether it's a general purchase today it's clearly you know a difficult decision to take when you're spending this and probably don't know what you're buying for so we start working on to it we started early on with magic mirrors out there uh, at that point of time pretty advanced but when you today look it looks primitive because it's technology advanced but however the challenges has been to do magic mirror you have to invest on capex put the you know magic mirrors into the stores and then somebody will come and select the swatch person will stand and then there the 2d image which come good bad scanning quality now what generative ai does for me is uh, i have a backend solution out there which probably i have a catalog built out of every swatch which is out there all a consumer has to do take out their mobile phone just scan the product and when they scan the product they see the catalog they have to ask somebody to take their picture and the whatever they are seeing as a finished product gets draped onto them i don't have to think about saying how do i do capexes into the store consumer do it themselves they see the look they can prefer and check the you know different styles and patterns that they can convert the garment on probably drape it onto themselves so it looks very promising we are doing pilots out there in multiple stores consumer you know adoption looks clearly very strong in terms of the feedback which is coming and i believe it clearly is a great great impetus or a booster to probably the fabric or a textile business which clearly is a flagship business for raymond in some form or the other and i think uh, that's going to do wonders for us it sounds very promising for us we were discussing about you uh, talked about like how even the bitcoin like technology has been transforming uh, your business or it it had been like in your previous days a 4g uh, a facebook on a 4g how did you experiment so i believe that you can uh, you are experimenting with new technologies and uh, shaping up the businesses how do you think the next 2 to 3 years are looking like in terms of which technologies or even uh, do you want to talk about bitcoins and things how it can shape up or as the future potential for me blockchain i think is a phenomenal as a technology very powerful uh, for reasons of it being associated to bitcoin and then cryptocurrency probably taken the attention and implementation away of from technology to probably something else but let me give you a classical example of a blockchain technology deployed by us today we sell from almost across 8 to 9000 outlets where we don't go and service we sell it to our wholesalers and they are doing this distribution out there but because of a you know loyalty program we are able to design a loyalty program which probably runs for the last mile stores 8 to 9000 stores with no connection to us but we exactly know exactly you know when they they had a proof of ownership and they probably buy our products and sell to the consumers they get reward through a loyalty program all possible because of blockchain as a technology and that's the power of it uh you know another great example that i see in future to happen and i think generative ai is going to transform a lot of things right now we see a lot of uh, you know uh, as i call the marketing gimmick stuff but uh, look at an example of you know what uh, toys r has done has done probably they've got a campaign out completely built of generative ai volvo has got a campaign out built on generative ai uh, just to give you a use case example for us this uh, durga puja all our creatives which have gone out into the market wow. they are all built on generative ai they were never shot the models don't exist wow. and all of them clearly a time to market has improved significantly for me to do a campaign today in terms of what i want to send out to the market i'm talking about hours i'm not talking about planning and then doing it in weeks or days out there so i think that's the power of technology and i think it's going to transform a lot in terms of speed how probably businesses are thinking and how probably business are going to go to the consumers much faster get their feedback and you know continue to build on to that Now, how do you think AWS has been uh, being your partner in your transformation journey? Whether it is virtual try on or generative AI or anything else, how we can how uh, the AWS as a partner has been supporting you in this initiative? See, I I have a huge respect for hyperscalers, you know, especially AWS. 
uh, you know, conventionally when uh, you know hyperscalers started, it was saying that you know they're going to take away the infrastructure, they're back-end infrastructure company. No, they have not been. I mean, if you look at the core of services that is provided, for me to probably start thinking of a solution. My biggest partner to go and talk about is today is uh, AWS because I I tell them a consumer problem and they're the ecosystem that AWS does in terms of developers in terms of it it's not only in terms of infra that they provide I mean that like I said that's a table stake it's given to me I don't think infrastructure at all I don't think compute power at all today as a challenge that's a given stake that AWS brings what AWS brings on top of it is an ecosystem to solve for solutions and that expands the ability of businesses. to go out and service the consumers out there like i said i mean today is an era that every company is a technology company who would have ever thought that a textile company is going to be a technology company i mean imagine in 4 years from now what we can do with generative ai everybody will be valued on how much technology is inside and that's actually powered by in case of raymond actually powered by amazon as i call it and that's how i i've got a huge uh, respect for what you guys do with us and clearly i mean it's been very rewarding in terms of a transformation that we are building thank you so much ravi uh, we, we would love to have a partnership going on and supporting you in multiple initiatives which you are doing thanks once again for coming and sharing your thoughts thank you apurva thank you. great talking to you thanks pleasure is all mine thank you